we're gonna go on a photo walk with Sumit. He's a hobby photographer. In this video, we'll explore the Dutch city of Utrecht, and you can see how Sumit uses the LG G6 in manual mode. And make sure you don't miss the surprise at the end. The wide-angle lens lets you capture a wider field of view and is an exciting feature not present in other smartphone cameras. The two icons in the center of the screen switch from regular to wide angle. So for example, when Sumit takes this photo with the tree, normal lens, you see that most of the tree is lost. So let us take some photos at the same place with the different lenses. The wide angle lens does not have an autofocus which makes sense because you don't want to be getting macro shots or close-up shots with depth of field. In manual mode, the LG G6 lets you control the shutter speed, the ISO, the type of focus and the white balance with a histogram visible. Just another day in Utrecht. Two bikes, a dog. and surprise drop. Sony's gone from 399 to 369. It's a pretty good store. Let's talk a little bit about manual focus. Focus peaking is a great tool if you're using manual focus. The areas in focus are highlighted in green. As Sumit changes the focus, the green continues to highlight what will be in focus for the shot. A handy feature. So, so what, what have you been able to do so far that you would not do on your older cell phone or other cameras? 
for example uh, look at this structure and uh, like will you be able to take the full photo from standing at this point position of this uh, church no but with this wide angle lens especially exclusively with lg g6 you can take the full photo so it's now taking a video of me or a photo The auto exposure lock is a great feature if you want to lock into one subject. But in case you need to switch subjects or move to a different lighting situation, simply tapping the auto exposure lock icon will reset the camera to auto mode and you can begin again. In this case, the camera is overexposed when pointing to the building and hitting the auto exposure lock icon resets it to a more usable situation. Sumit has decided to take photos from the shade. It's a bit too warm, which is a rarity for Utrecht. the resolution now here I was shooting in 4 ish to 3 yeah. mode but you can also shoot in 6 ish 9 so what it does is you can see now it takes the whole screen yeah. basically but I don't like this kind of aspect ratio so I don't use it you have an option to shoot it as a wide angle yeah. very wide angle uh, photo like this even uh, wider right? Eh? yeah even wider so the entire yeah. screen is filled with the camera line. yeah this is the Utrecht conservatory another thing to notice is that you can save in raw format However, this takes up to 20 to 30 megabytes per photo. And not just that, it also requires more processing power, which in turn drains your battery. So be careful about that. One of my favorite places to eat in Utrecht. Kim made.
and one last thing this whole thing was shot by LG G6 Rohan you're blocking the logo man sorry man. this hand this see this what is the logo yeah LG G6 <laughs>